today's the big day. So we've got to empty out the shed and then the tow company is coming. So we discovered, didn't think about it, but we were kind of in dilemma trying to figure out how we were going to get the shed moved. And it turns out that actually you don't have to have a special shed company to have a shed moved. We actually just, most tow companies will do it. So we have a tow company that's gonna be coming out today, so we've gotta get the shed emptied and prepped, and then they'll come hook it up and move it over to the property. All right, you ready guys? All right, so let's see if we can, can we, you want to step back? Let me see if we can see. Oh, we can see everything, there we go. All right, so ready? We're gonna snap, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> it's all cleaned out. Oh my gosh, there's so much room. You make that look easy. I've done it, why did you die? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm so happy. We get this drive down and we'll be on our way. Awesome. <laughs> oh, those look like a great shape still. Oh yeah, I moved this out here. Oh, you, you're, you're the one. <laughs> yeah, I moved it from where it's at the clubhouse. <laughs> yeah? Uh, out here. I oh my, the underside, the skids look like they're in still in great shape though. Yeah, it is. I don't think it's been here too long. So I was thinking maybe what we could do off the side of it where the where the uh, milking stanchion is, we could put some of the cattle panels around it, and then whenever we got a couple of panels could, up there, I'm gonna have to start getting Annabelle into the into the milking stanchion, get her ready for whenever she calves. That fat cow ain't gonna fit the milking stanchion. <laughs> she will. We, that's why we, we made it wide enough for Anna for Chloe for Abby to be able to go in. Oh, Annabelle's pretty <laughs> fat. <though. laughs> Poor Annabelle. She's literally laid out there. I was like, hey mama. And she looks at me and is like, hi. I'm very round. Just laying here, counting the days. So it's February now. Annabelle is due sometime late this month or early next month is the estimated. So we're gonna be getting close to baby watch. We'll have to start keeping an eye on her. And then if we wanted to, when she starts to get close, if we put those cattle panels up there against the shed, we could stall her up whenever she's showing signs that she's gonna go into labor anytime. We can, we can pen her up, because I do not want to hunt eight acres, because she'll hide that calf. Yeah, she will. Yeah. We're gonna have to get to that calf as soon as possible to desensitize it for that calf, mm -hmm. for us. The younger the so, calf, I think, is better. That's why I want to put her in there. Imagine living right here. Nope. <laughs> I am good. Ready to go. Got it on the gravel. Uh, we're gonna have to lift it up with a floor jack to re-level the gravel as the skids were coming down. Um, it kind of pushed some of the gravel away a little bit. That's not too bad. Uh, a couple floor jacks and a couple two buys. We can lift this side, one side up, adjust the gravel. Lift the other side, adjust the gravel, and uh, we'll be all right. Um, so in transport of the shed, uh, it dug up a little bit of dirt as it was coming off the ground. This was the dirt between the skids they had kind of caked up. And inside the dirt, we got a new friend. A little rat snake that we now get to keep on our property. And I'm going to put him underneath the shed so hopefully he'll keep any rats out of our shed. And he's just a little baby for now but he'll get big and he'll eat rats and maybe coons and other small animals. So yay, we got a shed. Yay, shed. Shed.